Now what I do, I have cocoa butter. I, I don't, you don't see my thermometer here. I just keep the cocoa butter warm. That's it, I just keep it nice and warm. You know, I, I have this guy at middle. It's got low, medium, hot. I just keep it in medium. Who knows what temperature is, but I don't really care because I'm going to temper this and you'll see how, all right? So I have gloves and I'm going to give you the mold number, okay? Uh, the mold number is CM39, I'm so sorry class, CM3898, CM3898, okay? So this mold is clean. What I'm going to do, warm cocoa butter, I will tell you the temperature just to be safe. I think it's about, I have, I'm gonna put it in Celsius. I'm at 30.5. 30, 30 so if you get one of these, you just play with it and, and, and you'll know when to keep the cocoa butter at 30.5 to three and a half. Now, I dip this part of, the, of this brush like this. Now carefully, and look what I do. I do this, and then I'm just adding a little bit of uh, specs, Carmen, ¿cómo se dice, mi amor? Perdóname, en inglés es más. Specs. Como pecas, specs. Yeah. Yeah. So I just go very, very gentle. And I'm going to pass this, so you see. Very, very gentle. I've seen other uh, chefs that do it like that. That's silly. This is better because then you can control. So if I if I want to keep the beauty of a mold, I may just go with one color, but I always put uh, a little bit of this specs. It's like adding salt to caramel, I think. Now, I like to keep my area clean. You win. Now, I take this, I will clean also my glove so, it, so that I don't contaminate. I take this mold, and then what I do on my hot plate, I clean it just a little bit. Now I see I need a little more color. I come back, load, unload. This is what I call unload. I don't want too much color. And I do this. Now I clean this. I constantly like to clean my molds. Now I will leave this mold at room temperature. Or I can take it to a colder room or a wine cooler. Am I making sense? Yeah. See? I'm not going to spray right now until those specs dry. Okay? So I'm going to pass this around if you don't mind. We'll go ahead and do the same technique for this mold. The molds have, are already polished, but just in case, I'm always like worried, insecure. I'm gonna go ahead and do this again, just in case. They're nice and clean. I do that. So I have, this is another one of my molds. So basically, I'm still working with parchment paper here to maintain my area clean. I load, and then I'll do the same. And the mold number? Down. The mold number is, I'll tell you, CM3842. This time though, I'm going to put more heavy on the middle. So I just go this way, watch, see? And I'm gonna go live on another one. So I have this. Now I can take um, I can take the same brush, clean the excess with cotton, clean the excess black color. Now I will go with maybe gold. I take a little bit of gold, and then I'm going to do gold just on this one side. So I basically just spray two different colors. Then clean. Then I'm gonna let you 
past this, take a look at it.